Hello. I had somebody ask me about setting the pressure switch on one of these Harbor Freight air compressors. And I want to show you how to do it, but I want you to be aware that uh, if you touch the wrong thing, it, it, you can get shocked, or if you turn the screw too much, you can uh, uh, actually damage your unit. So you want to be very careful. You want to pay attention to the warning label on the top of this cover. This here is the pressure switch. This is the main control. Here's the on-off switch down here. It's in the on position right now. But down on this side, where the slot is, there's a screw. It's very small. So when you take it out or, or put it back in, you don't want to really crank down on it with your wrench. It's a, a regular screwdriver slot. I don't know if you can see that. But I've already taken it out. Down on this side, there's like a little little notch, and sometimes you have to put your uh, screwdriver in here and kind of kind of push on a little bit to get it off. I've already got it loosened loosened up but I'm going to show it to you sometimes you really have to work at it so I suggest you unplug it because these wires right here above my fingers have power on them when it's plugged in these two are for the motor and these back two are for the cord on the back side of this I'm, I'm hoping you can see this I hope the light don't kill it there's instructions it's actually upside down Here's the, the, the little tab that's hard to get off. Hope you can stop the, the, the video and just see this and read it. Those are the instructions under the cap. I, I just hope you can see those. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This screw right here, according to the instructions, is the high cutoff only. And ba basically, it's as loose as it'll go. If I loosen it up anymore, it'll vibrate out. Under it, it's got a spring on it that, that's part of the switch. This metal looking screw right here is the one you want to turn. Make sure you get a screwdriver that actually fits it. And I backed this off to, to where it was at when I took it out of the box. I'm going to turn it on here for a minute so you can see what the, the cut-in pressure is. Then we'll stop it and then we'll turn that screw a little bit. It just cut in between 70 and 75 PSA. I'm going to turn this screw up a little bit. I'm going to give it about a half a turn. Right now the gauge is on 80. It's still cutting in below 80 PSI. I'm going to back that off to half a turn where it was. And we're going to pump it up all the way. So you can see the cutout pressure on it. It's so the half a turn I just turned it up. Now I'm going to let the air build to about 105 and it'll cut off again.
Okay, it just cut off about 103 PSI. It's just barely past 100. I'm going to turn this back up another half a turn. Now I'm at right, right at 108 to 110 PSI, so I turned out a half a turn and it gave me close to 10 PSI. And what I did before is, is I backed it off a full turn, a little over a, a full turn. I'm going to turn this back up to another half a turn, and I'll let the air off again. Now the cut-in pressure is right at 80, before it was about 70 to 75, and the off pressure is around 110. It should go about 115 where the setting is right now.
Each mark on this gauge is about 4 PSI. Then it's two marks under 120, so it's about 112 PSI. And I turned that screw about one full turn. The uh, little uh, metal screw. I actually had it about a quarter turn higher than that before the demonstration. This is the, the inside of the pressure switch. And it's a black plastic screw. I wouldn't even mess with that one unless, unless you're uh, uh, cutting pressure real high. But this metal screw right here, turn it clockwise to raise it, counterclockwise to lower it. So I'm turning my screw clockwise. I would start with a half a turn unless your pressure is really close to 115. Um, when I first bought this machine it was 105 and I had to put it in about one and a quarter turns to get it to the pressure I need. And then I have the, the concern that this safety valve over here is blowing off at 125. So you want to make sure you don't turn it past 120. And to put this on you, you just set it back on here. Keep in mind it's got this tab on here that clicks on. You hear that click on there? Now I can't hardly get it off. This is kind of hard to get off and that's why I say take the power off it before you stick your finger in there and get shocked. It'll look like uh, Einstein with a bad hair day. Just put this little bitty screw in here. I'm having difficulties. You just tighten it up and just use your fingertips. Don't put no force on it because it's just a little bitty screw. If you put much pressure on it, you're going to strip it. And that's all there is to setting the uh, pressure up on one of these. I wanted to do this in uh, 1080p so you could see the detail. And if I try to edit it, it'll be in low quality. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, just post them and I'll try to answer them the best I can. But be careful when you do this.